And where are we this time? Well, this is Borg de Wasson. And if you've never heard of Borg de Wasson, surely you've heard of Alp Huez. And uh, one of the most famous cycling climbs of the Tour de France. And that is literally just in front of us going up there. There we go. Cup of tea time on the uh, Caddock. I've shown you the Caddock the other day and uh, it's just so simple. It does everything. There we go. Get one of these, put it on there. But of course, people say, well, why not use everything inside? No, why not keep the inside of the van nice and pristine and uh, mm. do all your cooking outdoors. That's what the outdoor life is all about. Anyway, we'll show you a little bit more around here and hopefully get the drone up. Okay, so we're, here we are. That's the name of the actual site. I'll let you see that rather than me pronounce it. And it's hello there. Oh, that's, that's Teresa. And it's really pretty, isn't it? Hey, all the lovely flowers. We've got a restaurant here as well, which, um, oh, oh, she said my word, my name, pizza. Oh, that's kind of got the restaurant. Yep, so we'll uh, have a look at the uh, restaurant as well. Isn't that pretty? And look at the mountains. It is quite an expensive one for me, <laughs> this one. It's uh, 42 euro a night. Um, or if you wanted the electric, it is 49 euros a night. But uh, they've got a captive audience here because it's right on the beginning of outdoors. So, uh, but hey, we're on holiday, what the heck. And uh, here's the restaurant. Let's have a look at these prices. See what this has to scare us. And because the sun's not out, it's indoors today. Let's see what it's like. Oh, it's lovely warm in here. Oh, it's lovely. But what's the temperature of the water? <laughs> we will find out, hold on. That's not too bad. That's not bad at all. That'll do for me. That'll do. Right, so let's get in that water. Another famous climb. It's up doers. There we go. Let's see what we can do. site before the start but the downside of it is that you are immediately without any warm-up straight in to the climb of outdoors because this is exactly where it starts Oh, 
and this is it the famous Alp Duez with lots of writing from last summer time when the tour came up here and Tom Pitcock won the stage let's see if his name's on the plaque And that is the best side of the lot, saying Tom Pitcock. Who won it last year. Come along here. You've got a laundrette, there's showers, toilets, everything you need. And a great restaurant as well. And I had a nice meal last night. And a couple of very nice cocktails. Pina Colada, oh, ding dang do. Anyway, let's see where it'll take us today. We're not going up the mountain today, we did that yesterday. But <laughs> we'll probably find another mountain anyway. A little bit of this the other day but uh, I don't know how far it goes but we'll uh, find out it may be a road to nowhere Just to the right hand side, there. that's what we did yesterday. Climbed up that, which is Alp Duez. Cycling at the moment, absolutely perfect. Nice and flat. 
follow the uh, stream. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Hello, doggy. What a stunning sight. Let's see where this takes us. Bonjour. Truly amazing little cycle way this and it's not marked on my map but uh, you can certainly see it by downloading it and it cuts out the main road as I said earlier from Bald Wasson that takes you to the uh, start of the climb that would eventually take you to bypassing the Glandon and up to the Quad Affair. And we are now going to turn right and pick up that very road. And here it goes. Crossing the river. Directly in front of us, we're going to uh, climb up the uh, dam wall side, as you can see. And uh, this is a very famous site on the Tour de France. And they came this way last year, as we were telling you earlier. Uh, have a look at that. Lots of little campsites just here as well. And when we get up to the top of this uh, particular slope that takes you up to the top 
of the dam wall you'll see this beautiful lake and we'll put the camera on when we get to that point that's at the top of the dam and as we <coughs> said when we went by a couple of campsites down there there's a swimming pool cable car taking you up way up are you going to risk doing that can you see where it goes and so just across here and on the other side i have to lift this up there we go you can see the beautiful lake and up that way is the cold quarter fair and that is a beast of a climb anyway let's get back over here and carry on how are you gang yeah we got quite a fair messy And uh, if you wondered why those guys were there, there's a cycle event on today. And uh, obviously it comes this way. It's not the Tour de France, it's an amateur ride. But uh, we saw some signs for it yesterday in, uh, as we were climbing the Alpe d'Huez. And this is where it starts to really get tough. But to make up for it, the scenery is absolutely sensational. Let's have a look. There we go. And that, what we're looking at just a moment ago, it's the damn wall. <laughs> it is a damn wall as well. Whew, up way all the way. And then you'll see the big lake in just a few minutes. One of the absolute ultimate climbs. <sighs> Having a quick look, quick break. No. Not dangerous. Oh. <laughs> oh. And this is the summit of the Côte de Landon. Oh, we can get a drink. There it is. Altitude 1,924. Whoa. Make sure we don't go down. Have a quick look though. And that road takes you 
you all the way down to that road takes you all the way down to La Chambre where we were the other day but we're not going down we're still climbing but we're going up to the quad affair so that was the summit of the Glandon and now we're going to the summit of the quad affair And it was along here, yep, it was along here where we watched the Tour de France. <laughs> and just about reaching the summit of the Quad Affair. St. Jean de Maurienne down in the valley. Wow. <clears throat> and there it is. Quite a fair. 2,067 meters. That equates to 6,783 feet. Just under 7,000 feet up. Ah. Over there you've got the Col de Mollard, and below that, St. Jean de Maurienne. And way over there is the Galabia. God bless you. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, no see. problem. There we go. Thank you. No problem. Phew. I only just saw them in time. Ugh. Wrong gear as well. <laughs> it's amazing. Didn't see any cyclist at all. <laughs> I met someone on a dodgy bridge. <laughs> Typical. And here it is, back into the campsite. Perfect. Hi, it's Stu Bear from the Travelling Bear YouTube channel. And as a big thanks for everybody watching the videos and subscribing, we've got a great offer for you. It's from the Canton Sussex Tea and Coffee Company. And for all you great viewers, you can get 15% off every single order. All you need to do is just at the checkout, use the code. And that code is CAMPING, C-A-M-P-I-N-G. It's all uppercase. And the link is underneath the video right now so enjoy the tea and keep on enjoying watching traveling bear with stew bear